a British private school, has been accused of holding children's future to ransom by withholding predicted grades until parents pay the fees for the summer term. The school has been refusing to submit a level of GCSE grades to the exam boards until the fees for the final term have been paid, the UK newspaper The Telegraph has reported. The report said several other schools were believed to be taking the same approach after students were told last month that all GCSE and A level exams would be cancelled due to closures related to the coronavirus pandemic, with teachers awarding predicted grades instead. Coronavirus schools have been told by the exams watchdog of Cologne to use previous tests and completed work to decide on what grade to submit to the exam boards for moderation. The school closures and shift to homeschooling for students in Britain has driven many parents of pupils at private schools in the country to campaign successfully for a reduction to fees, which in some cases can be as high as £14,000, DH64,346, per term. Lord Lucas, who owns the Good Schools Guide, said withholding predicting grades over the issue of payment was disgraceful. You cannot under any circumstance hold a child to ransom in the way, he said. Schools across the UK were closed on March 20 as part of measures announced by Prime Minister Boris Johnson to curb the spread of the coronavirus. All schools, both state and privately funded, have been closed until further notice, and the government has pledged financial support to all educational institutions hit by the crisis. Britain is experiencing one of Europe's worst outbreaks of the novel coronavirus, with more than 85,000 confirmed cases. More than 10,000 people with the virus have now died in the UK, a death toll behind only that of the US- where more than 22,000 have died, Italy, Spain, and France. The open-air spaces, such as playing fields owned by Westminster School, not far from the Houses of Parliament, have been eyed for opening up to the public as reaction spaces to ease the strain of lockdown. Susan Mitchie Director of the Centre for Behaviour Change at University College London and a member of the government's scientific advisory group on COVID-19, has said that private green spaces such as those managed by the schools could provide an outlet for safer exercise. The behavioural scientists said the move would encourage continued adherence to the lockdown through society. We know from the evidence that if groups feel that the government is recognizing the situation they are in and addressing it, they are more likely to trust and more likely to adhere, she said. Updated, April 13, 2022 48 p.m. Let's block ads. Why?